got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Hi, welcome back to Heat Wave. Uh, guess what? I'm a lady now. Actually, I've always been a lady. Hey. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. 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 Uh, but, uh, <laughs> God damn it. So, fun fact uh, these two already knew about this a few weeks ago. Uh, not Chew. Brittany. I'm not, she didn't know. So she's uh, finding out right now. He said a few. Uh, a few. And um, so, like, it's not like it's a surprise to, uh, anybody here, but uh, I figured just like I'm, I'm explaining this to a lot more people in person. Pretty much everybody knows, except for my parents <laughs> at this point. In person? No, yes. I'm talking. I'm talking about other people in person. So I figured now that I am telling people in person, I would also include the YouTube channel and just like go ahead and just be honest with everybody here. Yeah. And yourself. Yes, and myself. <laughs> uh but no, it feels good finally. Um it's been it's been uh, about a two decade struggle, so it's nice to be me. Yeah, definitely. And you're mostly out at work now too. Yeah, not mostly uh, I mean, you are. I'm, I'm out. out I'm out at yeah. work. Actually, I I went uh, You sent out a fucking mass email to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I sent out a mass email. <laughs> I did it the day before we started quarantine, so that like so like, so you haven't first, had to make eye contact. I haven't seen a single person since I came out. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> like they all were like, "Oh, okay, great." And were, everyone was super great at work. Not an issue at all. And a great, uh, I've seen a couple a couple of people at work do know beforehand mm -hmm. or did know, but um, regardless, it's been it's been fantastic. It was a little nerve wracking at first, I think, but extremely yeah. it <laughs> ended well. You yeah, know? every I literally haven't had a bad experience yet. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah I mean, when we Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, fin finish your thing. I was going to say when we first discussed this at the beginning of the year, we were prepared to be like, I don't know, like we might lose some friends over this. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. hope we don't, but we might. Yeah. And we were kind of like, we'll just see what happens because you know, you're going to live your best life. Uh, speaking of which, friends who are watching this who actually see and talk to my parents or people who talk to my parents, please don't say anything because I'm not out to them yet. Because <laughs> I know, like, Tanner watches us sometimes and his mom and my mom hang out. Yeah. So don't tell your mom, please, <laughs> if you're watching Tanner. <laughs> Damn it, Tanner. Oh, my parents. Because he doesn't know yet. I haven't came out to him yet. So. Yeah, there's a couple of friends that don't know yet. So. I just thought also that. That might well, be a pretty low stakes way to uh, let your parents know is just to get some just send them to podcast. All right, next Thursday when this goes out, like, hey guys, you should watch this. You should actually send them a link to our Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to send them a link to our OnlyFans. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Yeah, there is. Uh, since that episode, we have created a OnlyFans for Half Empty Eating. Really? So, yeah. You got anything on there? Nope. So, if, if you want the yet. girlfriend experience from Hutch and I, just let us know. That's right. <laughs> 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 but yeah, um, there's nothing too really crazy about this. Uh, really, everyone's been treating it like it's normal, which I'm terribly happy about. Yeah. And. Um, like there's been a couple of awkward moments, and honestly, most of the awkward moments come from me because I still call myself Brian all yeah, the time. It is hard. <laughs> I've known you for I've known you for ten years yeah. as Brian, and it's just slip of the tongue. Well, I mean, on yeah. top of that, naming yourself is an awkward situation. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, there's like, a reason why our parents do it for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess yeah. I I think it might be good for you to talk a little bit about like what's been going through your head leading up to this like what well the, what have the your main concerns been what have, what what are you feeling the, num the number one concern uh when i was coming out was Brittany. um uh, yeah. Brittany and I, uh, we had another episode recently of where we got engaged. And a big reason as to why we got engaged is at the beginning of the year, um, we had several big talks. And one of them was me coming out as trans to her. And I was just like, 
So I still want to be with you, but and I want to get married. But, but you're I also, a lesbian now. Yeah. Yep. You're Surprise. we're lesbians now. We're lesbians. <laughs> so um I hope that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> And then on top of that, we also, um, like, we had some big life-changing things happen to us last year. Mm -hmm. Uh, One of them being Brittany's uh, sister passed away. And when C passed away, C was going through a lot of issues with the fact that C was a lesbian and C was queer. And it was just, C was 14. C was just, like, going through a lot of uh, issues there. And we were constantly telling her, like, it's okay, you're going to get through this. And I just, after she passed away, I felt like the biggest hypocrite for, like, not telling her my truth about me and not coming out to her. Yeah. And I and I just, well, that, was a, that was a huge, um, a huge point to be like, I yeah. need to do this, not just for me, but just, I just felt like it was wrong for me to not be that way. Yeah, I felt you, really dishonest. Had you recognized that about yourself? Um, I didn't. Re- uh, yeah, I. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase the question. What are you asking? Like, <clears throat> I, I, I guess I'm curious if. So, kind of, kind of the the retcon of a lot of these situations is like the I've known this my whole life, but. Mm-hmm. I, I, I guess I'm curious about, like, were you, do you feel like you were lying to yourself? Do you feel like you were? Oh, 100%. Okay. Um, uh, so I've known I was trans since I was about 15, 16. I don't really know exactly what year, but it was around that time period. And I didn't decide to act on it until I was uh, 24 years old. Uh, I had done, I had like cross-dressed and whatnot, but that's it. I didn't, um, but then I was about to act on it and I was, I was engaging in relationships with other people. Um, but then I met Brittany and I ruined everything <laughs> and I was, <laughs> I, was, I was very much cis of, uh, cis forward at that point. And I was just like, Brittany was the most amazing person and it was just real easy for me to be like, okay, put this on the back burner because I've met someone amazing and Brittany became the focus. And I wasn't a hundred percent dishonest with Brittany. What is it like four, five, six months into our relationship? I told you I was a cross dresser or something like that. Yeah, I think so. And like we experimented with that. You were really upfront about it. Yeah. So as far as like that stuff, like, it wasn't like a big surprise this January with everything. Yeah. Brittany right. knew I, I had of, feminine so tendencies. I didn't know like like how deep the rabbit hole went. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, it wasn't really that big of a surprise. I was kind of like, okay, yeah, I see how this went from A to B. Mm-hmm. And it makes sense. And it, I kind of knew in a way all along. I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh, honestly i was really angry because when we were having the conversation uh Brittany and i were having lots and lots of conversations very serious deep conversations yeah. and um i just straight up we, was, we were talking about i was telling her i want to cross-dress more because it'd been like four or five years since i had cross-dressed yeah. yeah and and i was uh I don't know what how this came about, but we were having fun talking. And I was just like, actually, I want tits. That's what I told her. I was just like, I want boobs. Is that okay? <laughs> and she was just like, yeah, whatever. And she was like looking at her phone and barely paying attention to me. And I was like, wait a minute. No. Look at me. Did you hear what I just said? Look at my eyes. What, what I, I say to you, I would like to have boobs. <laughs> I met real ones. That was her, her baby step into telling me that she was trans. Yeah, I was just like, uh, back up a minute. I need you to realize that this is a big question. I was like, yeah, everybody wants tits. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I, I was imagining Brittany like, looking up from her phone, realizing the gravity of the situation, making eye contact, maintaining eye contact, and then with the exact same tone and cadence saying, sure, whatever. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. 
I was so and angry. I think too. you were mad, but also relieved at the same I was, time. It was a mix of emotions <laughs> because it was like, such a big moment for me. You understand, and you just kept saying that, and I was like, "No, I get it." Do I it. Did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. I fucking support you, or whatever. <laughs> I was not expecting the result that I got. I uh, like uh, I a hundred percent assumed Brittany was going to leave me. I don't this <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just, just wanted to give you the like you get yeah, I get what? it. But no, I just I was assuming the worst in yeah. all case scenarios. I mean I think I understand that because when we were about to tell work and our friends, I also was assuming the worst. Yeah. So. And Did it was you, just Yeah. I this this like I, w- I would like for you to be honest in this situation. I'm really yeah. curious if you thought that Hutch and I would be on the same side. Like like of I, the not being not loving so, you anymore you you two I, I'm not, I wasn't worried about at all uh, okay. which is funny because the reason I brought it up to you two at the same time is because you were talking about you felt like you were transphobic at one time and yeah. I was like speaking of wits <laughs> surprise <laughs> it was a really good tee up and um, yeah I like I, I did but no, I wasn't worried I about either of you. Met a couple of people who were fucking terrible, and mm-hmm. I thought that, like, like I I crossed the wires in my head of not liking them as humans. I mm. did the exact same thing. If that makes you feel any better, yeah, yeah, and, and I think like uh, previous to like this past year, I've met a lot more trans people. And uh, my my experience and my experiences with yeah. them have been way more positive. So I, that was a big like moving forward moment. Yeah. Um, have you reached out to that coworker that I gave you the number? Of? I have I have not at all. But I recently I found out that the lead creative designer at uh, Ubisoft is a trans woman. We recently became friends. Nice. So yeah, my my coworker was one of the people because they. They did the I would like boobs to me, mm-hmm. but it was like at a bar, and yeah, yeah. It was also a coworker that I don't work directly with, so it was okay. it was just kind of this like I'm going to test the waters with people in this company that I work for mm-hmm. on, on her side. So it was. And, sorry, go. So I, 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 do they have like a significant other or anything, or are they just testing the waters for their friends or like quasi? No, they were they were. Not? trying to get because the company that i work for is very liberal but there's also yeah. like a weird conservative streak in it i um, mean we're still in the south yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i i think she was just testing the waters and working up the courage to do it on a larger scale yeah um, that's fair and like then she did and she's had one of the best years of her life since then so when I, 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 might, like, I, I might, I might, I oh, might talk to her about that since then because that's kind of my experience mm-hmm. too. I feel like everyone else's experience has been this is very sudden and this is very like turn like a light switch experience for most people. But, but for, for me, you, it's been, it feels it's, like you can be yourself. You feel yeah. like a weight lifting. Yeah, um, it feels very gradual actually oh. for me. Mm-hmm. But oh, okay. it also, it feels it feels well mostly just because like. There's so much more processes than just like uh, now I can wear makeup and put on a dress. Great, yeah, of course that's that's a big change, but like f- physically, there's a lot more long, long drawn out processes. Yeah. So that yeah. part about it and the emotional part about it are extremely gradual. So I kind of get like putting your toes out and trying to feel like with people and spending being more gradual about that as well yeah and and that was kind of what i saw when you did Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah you and uh hutch were the first people to know besides Brittany. yeah so i I, yeah we were number two we're number (laughs) two or three i guess (laughs) <laughs> yeah, so so it was it was kind of weird for me when you when you told us because you just you just kind of said I'm trans and I my first thought was what since when 
Cause, cause we've lived together for 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 what three years or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, did I miss something? Here? I um. So, and this is uh no ill will towards you at all, Hutch. But a, a big reason why I hadn't cross dressed or done anything was because I did live with you, and yeah. Yeah. a lot of people saw the most masculine version of me while I lived with you. That's what that's. Uh, it's when I grew out a beard. I want to give myself a little extra time. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, grew out, I grew out a, I grew out a beard. I did a bunch of other stuff, <clears throat> and I just was just like, okay. I had given up on transitioning. I was just like, uh, I, it's not going to happen. And I moved forward with, okay, this is we're just going to do this now. This is who I we am. Got really depressed. I got extremely depressed. Yeah. Um and. Just, I don't know, moving here, when we got on our own, I felt more comfortable with the idea of cross-dressing again, and then everything happened with Brittany's family, and just, like, there was no time for it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, so. and Hutch, I had a, like, similar mental response to that, the kind of, and and I think it comes from a good place, I think it comes from, like, a place of loving and caring of like I felt guilty I felt guilty when uh, I'm going to use past names when Brian told me that and Brian became Michelle um, because I felt like as a good friend I should have known or noticed or figured it but I I as I've been talking to other people about it, it's not a thing that you should. Like it's it's mm. not Yeah. We don't we My, don't look at people around us and say, like, how are you lying to yourself? Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think you should feel any guilt about that because yeah. um like uh, I think for a while, like I mean, I say that I had kind of always known when I connect the dots, but I didn't know either, you know? You didn't assume. Yeah. So, you know. And I think that's the thing. I was doing my damnedest to make sure that no one could assume. Yeah. Like, I did, like, I was lying to myself, but I was lying to everyone Mm -hmm. as well. Like, I was presenting myself as someone who I did not feel like. Now, granted, I, um, uh, that wasn't saying that I wasn't, like, being myself, but I was doing it in like a tonal change that wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? You were being a mirror version of yourself. Yeah, yeah. I was just kind. Of, I was kind of like acting. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. it was really strange, and <laughs> we're <laughs> Frank is walking in front of everything right now, so that's great. Nope, he's getting down right before he walks right, in front of the camera, okay, great. so that you look like a big liar. <laughs> uh, you can just see, he'll, he'll, <laughs> everyone will just see the his cat ass. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, no, it's a, it, it's a weird situation to be in. I feel bad for putting people through it. Um, no, and I'm don't. hoping like, Mm-mm. I'm, I'm feeling, I feel like by 2021, Frank just said, fuck your table. Um, <laughs> we're going to be past this and it'll feel more comfortable or whatnot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I feel honestly, I'm. This might be really strange, but I'm really thankful for the quarantine right now because mm-hmm. I'm in my most awkward moment of being out full time. And I'm hoping by the time I get back to work and get back to seeing people and whatnot, I'll feel more confident being myself. Yeah. By that, Which do you I, mean you will have gone through second puberty? What? I, I didn't hear what you said. You cut out. Oh, sorry. I, I said, by that, you mean you will have gone through second puberty? Oh yeah, well, not come through, but I definitely have <laughs> started it significantly. Yeah. Um. Uh, unless this goes for a year or so, I don't know. But like, we're definitely open to any questions or anything, mm-hmm. and like we we know it's weird and awkward, and we we make jokes about it. <laughs> we make a lot of jokes about are. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, actually, uh, my fir- my first night out was with Jarrison Hutch. Yeah. Fucking so. long time, and like. You know, I I think the four of us deal with heavy situations with jokes to a lot of degrees. Um, Oh, yeah. But yeah, like, if if 
fucking smash that like, comment, and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, <laughs> yeah, we'll answer them. <laughs> yeah, and I will be answering We've any got, questions uh, anybody has in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a host of perspectives. We have person who's transitioning, we have partner of person who's transitioning, and we have friends of person who's transitioning. Yeah, yeah. so plenty of uh, opportunities. And honestly, with that, the timer's about to go off. Let's get out of here, guys. All right, yeah, let's yeah. do Everyone some more. remember to eat the rich and don't die for the stock exchange. Yeah, stay Hell home yeah. and yes. don't die for the stock exchange. Wash your hands, you filthy animals. Yeah, <laughs> garbage people. <laughs> bye everybody bye nerds bye. sorry i can't see you in person bye. it's okay i don't want to kill you so <laughs> i appreciate that <laughs> that's way better than you wanting to kill me yeah 